Hi, I'm Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I'll show you how to draw an easy step-by-step -step picture of a fox. Enjoy! We'll start off with the very center of our fox. A trapezoid for the back, going down to the belly. And another one for the hindquarters. Here we have the hind legs and the big bushy tail. And the front area with the legs. These are just the very basic shapes. Here is the somewhat round head and the large ears. I'm going down the third way of the head, we'll place a line from where the eyes will be and extending from there the nose. And we'll start in giving our fox some color, some black brown stockings for his legs. Both the front and the back. And using the same dark gray, we'll just put in those darker areas of the fox, those that are in the shadow. And the area under the neck, shadowed by the long nose, the insides of the ears, behind the front legs and in front of the back legs, and in general, a spreading of gray over the whole body, just to give it a gray background. parts of those of that big tail. And working in general with medium strokes, foxes have fur. It's not extremely long, but it's not very short either. So the strokes will be medium sized. And just keep layering with darker shades of gray and a little bit of brown. And just be sure to follow the slope of how the fur grows on the animal. The area above the eyes is growing upwards and then down, leaning downwards towards the cheeks. On the cheeks it grows. Starting from the point of the eyes, it starts growing facing downwards. On the back it is horizontal and on the back legs starting from on top it goes down towards the legs
So if you're working from a reference photo, pay attention to how the fur on your fox is growing. If you're copying along with this, that's fine too. So the fur around the eyes will sort of surround it, going around the the face in a half circular way. Likewise in the front. And yes, foxes are orange, but in order to get the right color that we're looking for, we do have to layer it with various shades of gray and brown and work our way towards orange. That will be the lightest color that we add on. So we'll use some light browns, orangey browns. And just keep adding more layers of fur. Paying attention to where it's, it's brighter and where it's lighter. For example, the front area underneath the head is lighter fur, somewhat whitish gray. Whereas the fur on the very top of the back will be very orangey in the end. So we'll add more brown there as well. So putting all those small short hairs can be tedious, but it's up to you to put in as many as you like. And the more you put, the nicer your, your fox will look. And the warmer will be. So here we're adding for the tail, of which the very tip is a more whitish gray. So most of the tail is orangey with edges of dark gray, and the very tip is whitish, as if you went and dipped his tail in a bucket of paint. And taking some very light off-white gray, we'll add in the fur of the front. Which is officially white, but unofficially a dirty gray. And we'll be kind enough to give him a nose. And the mouth. Almost looks like he's smiling. And for the eyes, a nice greenish gold color. And just blending it in with more shades. Here's a lighter gray. And 
and outline the eyes to make them stand out. He's got sharp eyes. And here we have the final layer of fur. That is the brightest orange. And you see we're only placing this on the back and the hindquarters, tops of the legs, and parts of the tail. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Be well, have a good day.